episode 15 of Thursday Thoughts. Why I don't like Milwaukee Power Tools. Okay, so I did a video. Um, it's the one of when I didn't have my service truck. My service truck was broke, and I had those Milwaukee Packouts in the back of the um, the just the, fl- the regular pickup. And I made a mention that I don't really like Milwaukee Power Tools, but I like, you know, the Packout stuff's fine. Their hand tools are fine. That kind of stuff. And I got a couple comments, like, asking why. So I guess I never <laughs> explained why I don't like Milwaukee Power Tools. So I'm... And we're back. So I just want to start by saying I'm talking about electric battery power tools, not electric plug-in tools. So if anybody saw my truck tour video, and I've done some other videos about it, I have a bandsaw that's like an electric plug-in that's Milwaukee. I have an old school, the whole shooter. I have a grinder. So that stuff I'm not talking about, like the Milwaukee plug-in electric stuff, the older stuff are just like the, you know, the wall plug and stuff. That's fine. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about M18, M12, that kind of stuff. So it's not that they make a bad product. Like, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not like it's an inherently terrible product. It's just I've had some experiences that kind of made me like, oh, I don't really like them. So what kind of started it all is I had, um, let's see, what did I have? I had a snap-on gun and... I wanted it's. It, this was when I worked at the first cat dealer, the one in California. I had a snap on the three quarter or the three eighths. <laughs> I had the snap on three eighths, eighteen volt gun, which those are a whole nother story. Um, somebody said a long time ago that like the snap on eighteen volt stuff is like a generation behind, and I, I agree with that. But that's beside the point. So I had one of those, and it's kind of when the Milwaukee stuff was starting to get more popular, 2017, 2016, 2015, kind of that time. So I always had a I had a Milwaukee M18 like a drill, and an impact driver you know the hex, uh, in the garage and I liked them they were fine, but then all this the Milwaukee like stuff was starting to get bigger so I bought an M18 it was fuel because I made that mistake once before too it was an M18 fuel three eighths gun, and I was super excited to use it so I go to use it with the batteries that I already had from my the other kit. And it just wouldn't take things loose that you would think it would take loose. And I just was like, this is not. It's like, well, maybe I got a bad gun. I don't know. I just didn't like it. So I returned. I bought it from Home Depot. So I returned it. And then I just was like, okay, I don't really like these. And I was going back to air. And then I was talking to somebody. And they're like, well, what what battery do you have on it? I'm like, an M18 battery? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what do you mean? What battery do I have on it? And he's like, well, what amp battery is it? And I was like, I don't know, like the two, 1.5, I don't know. He's like, well, that's the problem. I don't know what it is, but there's, it's like you have to have like a three amp hour battery or something to get the full power. And I didn't know that. I mean, I'm sure it said it in the manual, but of course I didn't read the manual. I didn't know that. So I'm like, this thing's a piece of crap. And they're like, well, you probably had the wrong battery on it. And I did. I had a 1.5 amp hour battery, which I didn't know that. And I'm like, why would you make a tool and advertise it for this torque? when you got to have a bigger battery, which I know a lot of other companies do that too. It's not just Milwaukee, but that kind of was like, I don't really like that. So that's kind of the, that's honestly the, the reason that I just stayed away from Milwaukee was because of that reason. With the M12 stuff, I did a video comparing Snap-on 144 to M12, and that's a whole other thing, but I just think that the Snap-on stuff is a little bit heavier duty than the M, than the M12 stuff. The battery designs are a little bit different, but... That's a different video. I'll link that down below. But that's kind of the main reason that I don't like the Milwaukee Electric stuff. They have a huge variety. So, like, if you need, you know, they make impact guns. They make fans. They make, they don't make coffee makers, by the way. (laughs) That's a joke. But they make fans and weed whackers and chainsaws and, you know, they make so many. They're probably one of the largest, um, right, one of the largest uh, lineups and tools out there. So that's great. I mean, I get that too. But two, one thing, there's this guy on YouTube, um, Funk, PHV. Hold on, I'm going to learn. What is he called? He's like Funk something. Um, Let me look him up. He's a forklift guy. Hold on, where am I at? Um, YouTube, here we go. So he's named Funk. 
FPV. I've talked about him before, but he was like, he did a video comparing like impacts and stuff, just kind of a joke. And he's like, Red Army, you'll stand in line. You don't even know what you're standing in line for. And I honestly feel like that's what Milwaukee people are. It's like, oh, this is the new Milwaukee, whatever. I'm going to stand, you know, get it. Like everybody kind of has, it's like there's so much stuff that people have. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not making fun of people. I kind of am. But still, it's just funny. I'm probably opening a door on this one, but I thought it'd be funny. So, like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, if you want to use it, I'm not saying that, like, it's terrible design. Like, don't use it. It's not like it's a bad tool or anything. I would never say that. But I just, my opinion is I want to try something different. Like, I really like the IR stuff. It's, it used to be cheaper, but not really anymore. The IR stuff's more expensive now than the Milwaukee stuff. But one thing that kind of sucks about the IR stuff is they just don't make a large variety of stuff. That's kind of why I added the Makita stuff recently was because like they don't make fans. They don't make, you know, all they make is like electric tools or like mechanic tools. They make like impact guns, drills, grease guns, you know, they don't make a lot of stuff IR. So that's kind of why I started adding a little bit of the Makita stuff just because they make a lot more stuff. But that's kind of my reasoning for why I don't really use Milwaukee. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I guess I said it wrong. It's I should have said I don't use it, not that I don't like it. Like, the pack-out stuff's great. I like that stuff. Um, I have a Milwaukee tape measure, like an old-school one, like when they kind of first got into those. I like that a lot. Milwaukee screwdrivers in the garage. The Milwaukee picks, I think, are great. I mean, it's like $17 for the four-piece pick set. I've had that set over two years, and they work good. The pry bars, I've done video about those. The Milwaukee pry bars, I think, are great for the value. Their hand tools are great. I am kind of wanted to try some of the newer USA-made stuff, but... As far as the M18 and M12 stuff, that's just my opinion. I think one thing I will say is really cool is when you buy the M18 anything, it the charger has the M12 on it already. So I feel like that is cool because like you're already in the 12 volt platform if you buy an 18 volt tool. So that's a really great idea. Like I think that's genius. You only have one charger and you can have both platforms. So they make good stuff. Their innovation is really really cool. I just I kind of want to be a little different. I want to use different stuff. You know, I just like some people like you open their trucks or you see their toolboxes and it's like all the power tools and stuff. And it's like, that's a lot of stuff. But I mean, you can't really even compare price anymore because anything like that level is is expensive. It's all about the same prices. I mean, give or take here or there, you sell here, or sell there. Yeah, whatever. I've also heard some of the Milwaukee stuff. You they advertise like the five year, seven year warranty. But I've heard some people having some issues with like getting stuff warrantied, like them asking for like the original receipt. Who keeps an, a receipt for an impact gun? Like I don't. So I've heard that before, but I mean, I don't know that that's just rumors, but that's my opinion. Why I don't use Milwaukee. I guess I should have said why I don't use it, not why I don't like it. So if you guys like this video, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, there's a PayPal link down below if you'd like to donate. Just help add some more equipment and stuff. Thank you.